I'm Michelle Nepal, Executive Director of JFCS. Tonight, we'll be toasting with wine and coffee to the resilience of our agency, to the generosity of you, our donors and supporters, and most of all, to our volunteers, without whom we could not have done all that we've done this year. Tonight, we're gonna to say cheers to our volunteers. Of course, I must acknowledge the efforts of our incredible committee chair, Jen Agren, and all of the members of the committee who spent many hours over Zoom and emails to ensure that tonight came together. It's been 374 days since the JFCS staff have all shared an office together. Yet despite having to adapt to working remotely, learning new technology, collaborating over Zoom, developing new protocols for safe food distribution, and establishing new schedules to work from home, the staff has continued to provide professional, compassionate service to seniors feeling more isolated than ever, to individuals and families relying on food pantries, many for the first time in their lives, and to community members seeking mental health support in the midst of a pandemic, which is taking an incredible mental toll on all of us. And while not an official part of the JFCS staff, our amazing volunteers, the ones we're celebrating tonight, are a vital part of the JFCS team. In March, as our agency pivoted along with the rest of the world, we paused on volunteering. It was early in the days of the pandemic, and with so many unknowns, we wanted to take every precaution. Despite the pause, we had regular volunteers and new community members reaching out and asking, how can I help? I was reminded of the well-known Fred Rogers quote, Mr. Rogers, when he said, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You'll always find people who are helping. The world felt constantly on tilt, and as we struggled to get our footing, as we dealt with the short and long-term implications, as we integrated the words quarantine and social distancing into our daily vernacular, as jobs were lost, as fears and worries grew, I saw the helpers. This year, there was no question as to who we were gonna honor. It had to be our volunteers, because without them, we would not have been able to do all the incredible things that we did. Food shopping, food deliveries, none of this would have been possible without our volunteers. We are so grateful for them. And they're right near each other. 
Through the generosity of multiple donors, we were able to increase the amount of kosher meals on wheels that we were delivering. So because we had more food, we needed more volunteers. And guess what? They all came and they delivered. Our volunteers here at JFCS are very special people. As soon as COVID started, volunteers started calling and calling. We've built a team over the course of the last nine or 10 months that is really dedicated to this agency. There are times when you need a hand and there are times when you lend a hand. And we feel we're in a position to lend a hand. I've gotten to know the people on my route, so they know me. We see such big, warm smiles. And I really feel privileged to be able to give back to such a great organization. Our volunteers are caring, committed, and proud to be out there as a JFCS ambassador. Thank you, JFCS, for making a difference in the community. Bags, bags, and more bags of food. We have so many bags being packed, not just for the mobile food pantry, but for our very own brick and mortar pantry as well. Hi, my name is Barry Britman. I've been volunteering about three years for JFCS. Volunteering makes you feel warm. I love the feeling I get after I volunteer. This is a great organization. As well as a uh, soap can go into each bag. JFCS has really upped their game in terms of the types of products and the quality of food that we're giving out to the families who are in need. We'll do five apples per bag. When I started packing bags, there might have been about a dozen different things that we put in there, and now we're up to 20 or 30. What's been amazing to me throughout this whole pandemic is that people want to make a difference and to feed people. So we've been incredibly fortunate to be the beneficiary of many food drives that have happened. And they're happening because everybody in the community wants to help. I started volunteering for JFCS and had the idea for the um, Blast Hunger series. I wanted the opportunity for donation and doing good in our community to be accessible to everyone. The response that I got was tremendous. You can donate at a small level and we can make it up in volume together. We started a backpack drive for my bar to project supporting the JFCS. We are so proud of what we accomplished during the backpack drive. With the support with our family and friends, we provided 200 plus backpacks. For my bar mitzvah project, we collected enough food to feed 20 families at a local preschool for Thanksgiving. Growing up with uh, parents who were very into tzedakah and giving back, watching Ben put this uh, mitzvah project together was really just inspiring. And I'm excited to see what's in store for him as far as volunteering with um, Jewish Family Services in the future. I want to thank all of our volunteers from the bottom of my heart Without you, we couldn't do half of the things that we are able to accomplish. So thank you. Now, if you don't think that you can volunteer, you're wrong because there is something for everybody to do. Whether it's a phone call, whether it's a food drive, whether you're young, whether you're old, whoever it is, you get more than you give when you volunteer. JFCS has inspired me to volunteer throughout my entire life. I'm so proud of him. In these moments, I found helpers and I found moments of hope.